Hey guys, this is Rec, and I recorded a little bit more Rift. Um, I wanted to show you some footage of the Iron Tomb, which is the first instance you come across in this game. Uh, I started off in here at level 19 with sort of a pug party. This isn't my actual guild, uh, Legion of Doom, but uh, they turned out to be really good. They were okay. I think uh, there was only one part where I could have really complained about the group, but uh, other than that, it was a really decent pug, and this was a really good run. I think... We only had two deaths. One of them was me. The other one was someone else. And it was um, really it was both of our faults in in uh, in a fashion. Uh, myself and the tank. We both did something rather dumb, uh, and we deserve to die for it. But um, here you can see on the lead in, I'm just fighting my way in. And uh, oh, this is recorded after the fact. This isn't a live recording like all my other ones because uh, uh, it, I wanted to fast forward the video. So. <laughs> Doing it, doing this live wouldn't have really made sense. Um, most Rift things and MMO projects are really not interesting frame by frame. It's a lot of just kind of... It, it's better with description, I guess. So, this is, uh, this is that, more or less. But, uh, these are the initial trash pulls in the hallway. Um... Through here, we were getting a lot of different things. Uh, I'm sort of... This is my first real play with other people, so um, I'm getting to see a lot of other class abilities and whatnot. And I'm guessing we have... Let's see. We have, I think, a couple clerics, a mage, and a rogue tank. No, that's a warrior tank. Excuse me. That is a warrior tank. Uh, we didn't have any rogues on this run. But um, I think that's... there. We have a mage and a couple uh, clerics for this. Or something like that. Some combination. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was, it was to that extent, I guess. So, um, already on the mini map, you may be able to see a little green exclamation point. Uh, as you run through here, you saw at the door I picked up a starter quest, um, to basically kill all the bad guys. I think was what it was about. So, um, I picked that quest up. And we got running in here. I was sort of looking around to see what we had to do, what we needed to pull, and what was uh, going on. Um, I'm not sure what that big blue circle is. That's some sort of group heal, I guess, from our uh, from our cleric. I think our cleric's like a, uh, I want to say maybe a sentinel warden. I miss something like that. I'm not sure what our cleric is. Or our warrior, for that matter. Our warrior might be a paladin. I, I, I didn't really... I should have checked to see what these people actually were. But uh, it, it was a little late. Uh, we were already kind of running through here. I wanted to blast through this instance really fast. So, um, it's a good looking place. It, it, it's basically the dead mine. If you played WoW, uh, this is the dead mines of Rift. Uh, it's It's pretty much just the first place you go into. And I wasn't really sure what to expect because I haven't seen that many videos of this place. So, um, you might see a little awkwardness from me as far as this instance goes. But there's nothing really to these initial pulls. They're pretty generic, just, uh, spankity, tankity, spankity, dink. But, um, yeah. Oh, and I dinged. That was one of the best things that happened in this instance to me was I dinged and I got um, a really nice mace towards the end. Uh, but these, this first part really isn't all that interesting. We hit like a mini boss. I, I'm guessing this is a mini boss right here just because he's taking so long to kill. I don't think we had any other little mishaps aside from this guy. But um... Thank you for gratzing me. And then he levels immediately after he gratzes me. Yeah, that was a mini boss. Because uh, I guess the random blue came off of him. Even though it didn't really feel like it. It just took forever to kill him. But uh, that's basic tank and spank. I'm not even going to comment on that. If that's actually a boss fight. Because I didn't notice anything happening at all. Um, during that little experience. But uh. Yep. It's a lot of just clearing. Trash. Back and forth. Running about. I think uh, you can see some of the level 20. I, I just got into the level 20 group chat. So it went from looking for group for Iron Tomb to uh, 
looking for group for um, um, whatever instance that is DSM I'm not even sure what DSM actually is to be honest but uh oh man I'm hope I'm hoping this lag is in the actual video. I'm 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 reviewing this in Windows Movie Maker and the oh god, it looks atrocious because the latency is so horrible. So we're about to get to our first quest, and um you'll notice the healer takes a quick AFK, and we completely ignore that fact that the healer is taking a quick AFK. Because he announces ready. And um What happens after we announce the ready and he waits around for a bit and doesn't get a response? He pulls! He pulls! And this would be our first death of the instance, as you will be able to see very shortly. Because um, he's about to flop over. He is going to die. Bleh. And then I take over tanking for a bit and I scream like a little girl because I think I'm going to die. Um... You see someone just got an epic there in trade. That's Those drop kind of, sort of rarely, but I don't think they're that big of a deal. I don't really know where that came from. Maybe just off of that little mob that was patting through the place. So we wait for the res because um, What's-Her-Face doesn't really come back yet. Uh... <laughs> Quick zoom in on the face for no apparent reason. Woo! For a second I thought they were going to actually skip this quest and that would have made me very sad, Panda. Um, I got a lot of use out of Avalanche Strike in here as well. Uh, when you see three numbers popping up, it's because I'm spamming that little shift right ability that's on my hotbar next to the big heart. Um, which seems to be like an AOE or it hits three targets and it doesn't have a cooldown so I can I can just sit there and spam that thing and nothing seems to happen that's very bad so I end up doing that a lot um so yeah here we go again just kind of moseying on through here by the end of this instance, I really, really started to wonder what that little blue circle was for. I knew, it, I know it's some sort of heal, I guess, but I'm assuming that's what my, uh, what, what our group member was doing. But uh, okay, we're about to come up on the first boss here. The quest we picked up is to lure some spirits into spect to uh, spectral traps. And uh, you may see the trap on the ground there. I was kind of worried that we were going to have to do the quest during the boss fight. Well, we won't. We won't, uh, we won't have to do that. Um, this boss fight is basically an arena match. The first dude comes out, and uh, we start rocking him. And I'm noticing that he's dying very easily. So I'm like, oh, this isn't the end of the boss fight at all. Um, you see the other statue like start to light up, and uh, some other dude comes out and starts hammering on us. Um, and then a third will come out, pop up, and be all like, ah, start doing his thing. And then after all three of them show up, you have to fight them all together. And this part is a little bit... I, I must admit, I went a little dumb on this part, because I, I didn't know what to do about it. But um, you need to focus on one of them, um, and take that one out first, and very quickly... Uh, just like any sort of arena match where you just focus one first and then move on to the other ones so you're you're not splitting your damage up you're being very efficient and uh, dealing with one health bar at a time because if you try to take them all out at once it usually doesn't work out in your favor um, these things I guess kind of do hit hard too because I'm noticing our warrior tank taking some blows here and I was thinking about throwing him a heal but I kind of got lazy so I didn't really do that um so then I'm looking all at the speckled trap and we got our loots that I can't really use but I greed on anyway for no apparent reason 
And I'm just kind of looking around, I'm like, okay, I know the spectral trap's here, where do we do? And then I see this dude, and I start trying to yank him. So basically the gist of this one quest is to grab these dudes and drag them over here. And there's a lot of other, like, baddies you have to sort out. So some of them you grab and some of them you kill. And it took my group a second to understand what I was doing, I think. <laughs> they just kind of stood around and they were like, what's this cleric doing with these wires and why is he dragging this thing into the thing? I look like an, an Olympic runner with my little torch and chant. But pretty much, that's what you end up doing for that quest. And I think you end up getting a, um, a reward of some sort later for doing this little randomness. But it's, it, it's kind of fun. I like it. I like the fact that there's a quest like this in here where you can tell your group, stop, we need to kind of work on something really quick for a quest. And it'll only take a second, and we get a free blue out of it, so just hold your horses, okay? And that's kind of what this is. This is sort of a break after the boss fight to sort of, like, recover and do something mindless, I guess. Which really isn't needed since the boss fight was so easy, but I could see this, like, later being kind of fun. Um, if if you fight a boss that's, like, really annoying, and you're, you're just kind of like, ugh, I'm going to just, like, take a break for a second before we fight another one. I mean, God. Like, this is something fun for your DPS to do while your healer's getting mana back. So, uh, that's where I would put this in an instance. If you know there's a place where the healer's gonna go, like, oom, and uh, is gonna have to sit down for a drink or something, give the DPS something to do. Like, just mess around. Yeah, this is what we got. Little green. It was an upgrade. Oh, I was, I was very glad I did that. I felt, I felt nice about that. And then we have another person in our party ding. And, um... This is going to be the end of part one. I'm going to finish this uh, video up in a second segment. But uh, we've got another major boss to fight and some other quests to do. So I'll see you guys then. Um, stick around for part two coming out eventually. See you.